I felt incredibly frustrated by global poverty. I, I first went to Africa when I was 17 and I was going to go and save all these poor kids and I get there and the kids I was teaching English to could name U.S. senators and they were incredibly bright and motivated and it struck me that we live in this myth that poverty is somehow the fault of the people who are experiencing it. So many people around the world who are living on less than two dollars a day are working so hard. They have the skill and the will to work and yet they just have no opportunity. So because of that time I spent in Ghana I could no longer ignore this problem and it's become the biggest driver passion in my life. I even have a tattoo that says Sama on my wrist. Sama means equal in Sanskrit and it's the name of the nonprofit I later founded. Hi, I'm Laila Jana. I'm the founder and CEO of Luxme, a new beauty brand dedicated to rare organic ingredients that go beyond charity to give work to women in need. So about four years ago, I was uh, working with my nonprofit in northern Uganda, which is a region that has had a civil war for the last 20 years. And I stumbled upon an amazing natural ingredient called Nilotica, which is actually a type of shea butter that only grows wild at the source of the Nile River in northern Uganda and South Sudan. And I thought to myself, someone needs to create a company out of this rare and organic butter, and why doesn't it exist already? And so I built uh, Luxme to source rare and organic ingredients just like Nilotica that that both are do great things for our skin and do good for the world. To me, um, you know, I would I would wake up every day and still do Luxme even if I weren't paid because I'm that passionate about it and I want so badly to bring this mission into the world of mainstream beauty. And so for me, it's a mission, it's a calling. It goes so far beyond work. It's it's great that I get paid for it. I need to pay the bills somehow. But I would urge you if you want to be an entrepreneur to first check your motivations and make sure that you are beyond passionate about what you're doing because in the low points you'll need to rely on that reserve of inner strength. Um, the second tip that I have is to not lose your sanity <laughs> while you do this work and it took me um, many years to really understand that having some kind of balance is really critical. I just heard the founder of Bumble and Bumble talk about meditation on stage. I meditate as well. It's one of the few things that grounds me in a world of chaos. So I, I encourage all new founders to embrace some kind of self-care regimen, whether that's meditation or exercise, hopefully both eating well and taking care of yourself because that's the only way you're going to be able to, uh, to take care of other people and build a company. Technology is revolutionizing beauty in so many ways, first and foremost through distribution channels. So for the first time, we can now directly deliver our goods and services to customers um, through online channels without even having to have a grassroots sales force. Although, of course, many brands are doing the direct sales model as well because it's so much easier to inform and educate salespeople um, at a grassroots level. What I'm really excited about is that technology is bringing a new level of transparency and awareness to the supply chain. So the, the people who pick the products that end up in our skincare, the people who make the packaging that ends up on our counter, those people matter too, and so often it's easy to ignore them or exclude them because we forget about them. Well, technology fundamentally broadens our circle of empathy and ensures that those people who are on the other side of the world are connected to us. We can see what they're doing on Facebook. We can post pictures of, on Instagram of where our ingredients come from, and I actually think that the new consumer, because of technology, is demanding a level of transparency and openness in the brands that she purchases from um, because of this radical shift. So the, the Instagram generation is, I think, demanding transparency and that's something that's a core tenet of Luxme.